quality art should be timeless and only then um, you will be able to enjoy uh, the pieces throughout your lifetime. What we would like is to share the beauty of quality art with a wider public. Over 200 years we have developed our services towards five centuries of paintings on an international level. We've always been faithful to Amsterdam uh, and some 20 years ago we moved to a wonderful building next to the Rijksmuseum, very close to the Van Gogh Museum as well. The love for art and our tradition in uh, quality expertise have always helped us to continue into the future and we would love to share that with you. The Taoist family started actually um, as uh, restorers at the end of the 18th century. Uh, we did theatre backdrops for instance and continued uh, into the 19th century with dealing in contemporary art. We have a very strong connection, mental connection with our family and with the ancestors. And what we like to do is continue the way they started and, and build this gallery up to what it is today. We have been able to slowly amass about five centuries of paintings and they stretch from Dutch, Flemish, French uh, all the way towards Russia, China and sometimes other international countries. In the beginning of the 19th century, my uh, forebear, Hendrik Dowers, uh, started to slowly deal in contemporary art, which was the romantic school of paintings. He personally knew a lot of these painters, as well as the generations after him. Uh, these painters would come by and would ask him to make a choice of their uh, paintings. Uh, he would buy, let's say, three or four of them. Uh, they would uh, cost each uh, 15 guilders, and he would hang them up in the gallery and would offer it to the public. And of course, nowadays, those are the old masters of today. For the Romantic School, you had to be very precise. Uh, you needed a sort of a good technique and um, it was very colourful at the same time. And slowly, of course, uh, because of photography uh, they had to compete with and with Impressionism, they were actually looking for a looser touch. And so from Schelfhout, with the real romantic touch, you develop into a Jan Weissenbruch uh, with a more Impressionistic, colourful touch. About a hundred years ago, my grandfather uh, started uh, to collect and deal in old master paintings. We talk about 16th and 17th century Dutch and Flemish paintings mainly. He had a great love for them and he passed that on to the next generations. And that is why we now uh, have developed uh, an enormous expertise in this field. Behind me you see two great examples. One of a Dutch landscape, one of a Flemish landscape and you can see the difference in colors. The Dutch one is sort of a little bit bland, it's a bit grayish, let's say. Uh, it has a low horizon, lots of sky, and the Flemish one uh, is very colorful and has a very high horizon. That particular painting by Verhaagd and Jan Bruegel the Elder um, is a painting that has been passed on through generations. My grandfather already dealt in that particular painting and the same counts for the Willem van Aalst still life next to it, which is something that my father sold about 50 years ago to a client and it now passed on through his own children to our gallery again.
In the mid 1950s, uh, my father introduced French painting. We started with French Barbizon school painting, which predates uh, Impressionism and slowly developed, let's say, and moved on into Impressionism itself. Behind me, you see two wonderful examples of Renoir. And later in life, Renoir painted uh, a lot of small studies on a large canvas. Sometimes you had three particular studies on one canvas. Um, when he passed away, these were cut up and uh, have become independent paintings. Taoist fine art uh, elaborates also in different cultures. We have uh, uh, Chinese art, we have some Aboriginals, and we do Africanists. But the main focus is uh, on Russian social realism. They also call that Impressionism. When we started with the gallery in London, we focused on an international, global uh, type of art and we were surprised let's say at the level um, of uh, uh, expertise of these artists they were able to actually do every discipline from genre piece to uh, still life to marine and landscape there is a lot of humor in their uh, paintings and at the same time uh, it reminds us of this wonderful vivid palette of the French impressionists When Taoist Fine Art was able to uh, present a 200th anniversary exhibition, we thought it was very appropriate to uh, focus on original Rembrandt prints. Now Rembrandt is of course well known for the Night Watch and his paintings. Uh, what people don't know too much is that he had an amazing oeuvre in prints. During the wee hours of the evening, when there was no light to paint, he found out that with candlelight, and um, a, a copper plate, you had so much light and radiance, let's say, that he was able to draw fantastic drawings, let's say, in the copper plate. One of the most important ones is the 100 Gilder print that we have hanging here. And if you look at the detail and the exquisiteness, let's say, of the chiaroscuro, the light and dark workings uh, that Rembrandt was famous for, um, it is unique that we are still able to buy ourselves a piece of history uh, from the Golden Age in Holland. So of course we are an art dealing firm and uh, we buy and sell art, but at the same time um, we feel that uh, during the six generations uh, we'd like to give a lot of service to our clients. Our services include uh, doing valuations for insurance uh, purposes, anywhere in the world. We do our own photography, we can do research, we do lectures and tours, and we also have our own restoration department. It's wonderful to, to see uh, what's coming, what's coming, what's appearing. The authentic painting appears slowly, and that's, that's a nice feeling. We're here in uh, our library, which my grandfather started about 100 years ago. In 1975, I started work in the firm, and it was wonderful to familiarize myself with the backbone of our knowledge. Uh, very special to be here, where we have uh, a library for illustrations and photographs, for books and also for slides. My dad sort of uh, was uh, responsible for the slide library, and he's been doing that for about 50 years. I have a, quite a collection of uh, about 40 to 45,000 uh, slides and I think by passing on my knowledge I can put the knowledge into the slides in the first place then my sons or other people can then check up later and, and learn from it. At the same time we have uh, lectures here in-house, we do tours as well uh, for students and for groups 
Um, we do that in several languages and uh, we welcome everybody who um, is doing art historical research. Uh, this is a, an amazing amount of information that we can offer uh, also to the public. We've always been focusing on international business. In the past, we have been able to participate in important fairs uh, in New York, London, Paris, even Shanghai. And we've had galleries uh, in England as well. And for us, it is very important to maintain uh, a relationship, uh, a permanent and long-standing relationship with trust. We work together with uh, collectors and also museums around the world and have been able to place many good paintings in these wonderful collections. So the Dowers family has developed a great love of art uh, during the generations and throughout all those generations we've been able to add expertise um, and pass it on to the next one. And at the same time, of course, we also would like to continue and cater for the next generations. And therefore, we have old master paintings, but meanwhile, we also continue into modern art because um, it will be indeed the classic type of art uh, of tomorrow.